good morning on Sunday. Another beautiful morning, last morning out of our hotel room window. I have to say, let me turn around, she's just in the shower. Um, looking forward to getting out of this room. I don't think I even showed you the whole thing, did I? This is a sliding door to the bathroom here, the mirrored door. And this is, there's literally hardly any space at all. I mean, there's everything you need in it, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be um, making it out to be worse than it is, but it is a very small space to be in. So looking forward to having a little bit more room when we get onto the ship. And I'm looking forward to going to the ship now as well. Um, sorry about that light, that makes me look very, very washed out. I have to say, I feel like New York has chewed me up and spat me out. It's been lovely, but I'm really looking forward to some rest and relaxation. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little text from William on our WhatsApp group. Me, me Ashley and William have a WhatsApp group. Um, we texted him a couple of pictures last night. Obviously, it was night time at home. He's just replied. Um, I've got my morning coffee, which has become a little bit of a ritual in here. Um, we've got a Keurig coffee machine in the cupboard. Um, I don't think I told you where we were staying. We're staying at the Ali's Hotel near Times Square. It's a four-star hotel. Um, very busy city centre hotel. It's okay. Um, I have to say I wouldn't rush back here, but then again, it is what it is. There's nothing. It's very conveniently located. But... So, yes, today, what are we doing? We are going to pop out. Ashley wants to pop to the Levi's store in Times Square. And I want to go to... This just isn't getting any better, this light, is it? Um, I want to maybe pop into Sephora, uh, which is very close to where the Levi's store is, which is only 10, 15 minutes walk away. So, excuse me, we're going to go and do that. I'm not sure if we're going to bother with breakfast this morning. We ate quite late last night and um, went to the tapas restaurant, which was really nice. Enjoyed that. Um, I have to say I'm not feeling massively hungry this morning so I might just give breakfast a miss, just have my coffee. Um, and then we're being picked up from here at 11.30 and going down to Brooklyn Cruise Terminal and joining the ship. Um, yeah, so very excited, looking forward to the day. We're now out and about. Oh look, there's a Statue of Liberty actually. <laughs> Heading up towards Times Square. It's cold, cold, cold again this morning, but it's very nice and sunny. It's busy already, not even nine o'clock yet. No, thank you. out of Mario. I don't think it's the real one though. It's easier to film here in the day when it's a little bit quieter. We are off to the Levi shop and conveniently Sephora is just next door to it. So I'll go to the Levi shop with Ashley and then we will go to Sephora. Levi's shop is done, we got a hoodie and a t-shirt, well, don't tell him anybody, um, and we're now off to Sephora. Well, that was good. Ashley was thrilled by Sephora. Thrilled, weren't you? We've got lots of lovely things. Look at the Disney store. Um, Appetising billboard, so cool. I'm not a Disney fan, but... Oh. One for the resellers. There's an awful lot of flat Eric's here. Another one hiding over there. <laughs>
we've arrived at our room our cabin i should say our state room look at how long the corridor is that's it's insane long, <laughs> play a cracking game of tennis along there Nice. <laughs> that is very nice, isn't it? When you've been in a hamster cage for the last week. That was a bottle of Laurent Perrier for us as well. That'll go with caviar. Oh my God, Ashley, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I wanted you guys. All that's missing is the luggage. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to get our real genuine first opinion of it. So. Oh, it's lovely. Look at the little kitchen. Look at the orchid. That will fall off if there's any rough sea. Oh, look at the little kitchen thing. What's in here? Oh, here's my walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And that's the... It's very art deco -y, isn't it? It's lovely. There's a little dressing table. And this is the bathroom. Bath, shower, sink, no. It's very nice, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't I've it? Got two doors to my terrace. To, to your terrace? <laughs> Let's have a look at the terrace. I think you called it a balcony. I was going to say we're on the side that we're docked, aren't we? This is our balcony. There's the view of New York. There's the bridge wing. <laughs> Just in case the captain needs me, I can rush up there to assist him. That's quite a good sized balcony. It's be it, the balcony is bigger than it looks in people's videos, isn't it? Yeah. That's Ashley's lifeboat. Just there. <laughs> We're just having a little explore of the ship. And this is the theatre. How awesome is that? Look how comfy the seats look. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? This is the grand lobby. Purser's office over there. Look at how beautiful this tree is and the garlands up there. Just lovely. So pretty. I are sitting in at the Golden Lion pub having a drink and I just noticed out of the window, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, I'm going to try and zoom you. Look okay, out of the left hand window. See? The Statue of Liberty. I've just literally noticed it just now. Right, we had lunch. I didn't film anything in the dining room because um, I just didn't feel like it was... And we were just sort of getting used to it and everything. It, but it was. It felt like the Matrix D would have taken the stick out of his arse and beaten you with it. <laughs> Harsh, but possibly fair. <laughs> so, I had a nice lunch. I had um, a tuna, like a sesame covered tuna thing with um, noodles and pickled ginger, and it was really, really nice. And you had gammon, didn't you? Very nice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, I thought we sailed at 3.15, but apparently it's not till after five. So we're going to find somewhere to go and sit. Look at that New York skyline. So awesome. Considering we're going to see nothing but sea for seven days. Um, interesting to look at the buildings right now, but... Uh, Yes, we've unpacked. I have filled up my little dressing room, walk-in wardrobe, whatever you want to call it, um, with all my sparkly dresses. How cool is that? All our stuff is in there. Ashley hasn't shut his drawer, but yeah, that's amazing. Really like that. And um, my little dressing table area. What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at the difference between the room that we were in last night and this room, and how I'm actually <laughs> mentally scarred, and I can only walk ten foot in any direction without having to turn round after three days. Yeah, it did York. feel small in the room. I mean, it was, it was fine. There was nothing wrong with it, but three nights of that was kind of enough. But, I spilled um, the beans on everything. It was like Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Guantanamo, I believe. But yeah, we're just um, 
our room is just awesome it's lovely beautiful um quite excited Bar. yes Balcony. i mean what's not to like um i'm going to go and sit and read the program for today i don't i think all we're going to do is um make the most of sail away i'll take you with us and i actually might have a shower and wash my hair i haven't washed my hair for a cup no for a cup actually is there a hair dryer here i haven't looked for that there's a hair dryer i haven't looked for that. i hope yes, so put your head out the window otherwise <laughs> well yeah there is that that's an option um yeah i might have a shower and wash my hair and um yes and then it will be time for sail away and we got they've started the engines i can feel it they hadn't earlier you no, feel no, that no, it's not the vibrating bed thing all over again is it <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> the vibrating bed thing that was hilarious so glad we didn't complain about the vibrating bed that would have been awkward wouldn't it <laughs> um, yeah so we're going to go and make the most of sail away watch us sail from new york i think it's going to be in my experience of places to sail away from sydney's a great one hong kong was amazing i've got some great photos of sail away from hong kong back in the day and um I think New York's going to be a pretty good one, although it's going to be dark, which is kind of a shame. I was hoping it would be dusk, so we'd be able to see a little bit well, more. But it's going to be, be amazing. yeah, it will be. But it, dusk is kind of good. But anyway, doesn't matter. I'm going to go and have a shower, and um, yes, I will catch up with you later. Oh, I've had the loveliest bath. I feel properly clean for the first time in three years <laughs> since leaving New York. Um, no, we since arriving in New York, I think. Just had a really nice, luxurious soak in the bath with Quercus bath products. The bath is super short. It's like a jacuzzi bath. I didn't use the jacuzzi thing, but it's very short. But it's the perfect length for me because I'm You're very short. <laughs> yes. Um, we've now got to go to muster stations for the emergency drill. And then I think we're going to go straight from there to out onto the deck for sail away because I think we're departing around five o'clock I believe it's getting dark now and I want to be able to film and just watch sail away because it's the last time we'll see land for seven days we've been and done our safety drill and now we're just looking at the sunset a little bit late but I don't know what bridge that is but that's an awesome little picture isn't it isn't that lovely featured aboard Queen Mary 2, which are as follows. Smart awesome. attire, which is jacket required and tie optional for gentlemen, and for ladies, stylish separates or dresses. And also, a gala Love evening, that, which is dinner jackets, tuxedo so or nice dark suit with tie yeah. for gentlemen, and evening or cocktail dress or formal separates for ladies. That's we do ask that these extra given dress code each evening. This is just amazing. I'm <laughs> beyond excited I've got all the feels of being back on a ship after so many years and it being so lovely and that amazing view of New York just amazing loving life we're on our way we pushed out from the side look there's the side where you can see the lights um, So that's the front. This got this amazing view all the way around of New York. It's just incredible. I'm trying to enjoy it as well as film. But I mean obviously I enjoy it anyway, even if I'm filming, but sometimes taking in the moment you need to not have a camera in your hand, but it's just awesome. Ridiculous. 
this gives you an idea of the across or the width of the ship it goes right across there about 50 meters wide there's the funnels I'm gonna walk up to the front now. and we are on our way we're back on our balcony my god it was freezing up there made you feel alive oh. okay well we've done sail away we're on our way feels so nice to be all unpacked and cozy in our cabin i feel, I feel like i've been at a rubbish vlogger today because all i've done is grin inanely and be excited but hey this is what it's all about so anyway we're back in our cabin put my coat away hopefully the duration <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> it's isn't it absolutely, absolutely. we walked from the back of the we were at the back of the ship and we walked up, up various decks right to the, right, the top part that you could go to at the front um and it was because uh, we'd started moving forwards by then it was literally eye-wateringly freezing cold i think it's about minus four today but um yeah anyway we got back to our cabin we're on our way watching the lights go by the lights will inspire me um, inspires our butler has brought us a selection of little canapes which look rather nice and um yeah, I'll have to decide whether I'm going to get changed for dinner or go down. It's casual tonight, it's not dressy up eh? And I've got my um, mustard coloured boots and cardigan and my dress, like the leopard print. I don't think I've shown you this actually. Shall I show you? This is the point where I go, have we got a full length mirror somewhere? I'm sure we must have. Um, maybe we haven't. I've got this sort of leopard print dress that I bought from New Lug. That's. Um, just below knee length i've got black leggings on with it but um yeah so that's what's happening right now right now i've calmed down a bit of excitement ashley's eating chocolate and drinking champagne no, i'm drinking chocolate or eating chocolate with american huckleback sturgeon caviar on it with champagne that sounds like an insect it's a particular breed of sturgeon that comes from minnesota are you lying or no, did you I'm just not. invent no, that? No, that's true. Whatever. Well, you'd much rather see my Sephora haul, wouldn't you? <laughs> I think you would. So mm. I got this. I wanted the glow. What? Bridge. Oh, 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 mm -hmm. exciting. Bridge. It's too cold to go out, sir. Oh, my actual God, we're going under a bridge. We nearly no, no, missed we, it. Apparently, there's 12 foot clearance between the Who top of the that? funnels. And the bridge. <gasps> so Exciting times! Awesome, isn't it? Now, this gives you an idea of how fast we're going. We're actually going pretty fast now. Yeah. How cool is that? You see, this is why you need a balcony. You can miss it otherwise. That could be the pilot boat. Uh, geographical faux pas. I did ask earlier whether this was the Golden Gate Bridge. Obviously, completely <laughs> wrong side of America. Sorry, everyone. No, no, I, it wasn't on camera, so. Okay, so oh, <laughs> now, I need, it is. I, now, now everybody knows you're a twat. <laughs> <laughs> Needn't have mentioned that, did I? <laughs> <laughs> totally not going to edit that out. Uh, well, that's close. Look at look how much or oh, little clearance itchy. we have. <laughs> the that's close. <laughs> Please, that I got you for that quicker yeah. That is incredible. That is possibly the best ever bit of filming I've just done. I'm proud of that. Anyway, back to the Sephora haul. I've been wanting to try this Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask for ages. And it's been on my list. You know, you have a list on your favourites on the computer. I've heard that. Anyway, they had a set and I spoke to a nice young man and he recommended particularly the pink juice, which is the serum, and then a blueberry bounce cleanser, which is, you know, neither here nor there, I'm not bothered about that. But it was $48 and it was $76 value. Also, in the Sephora, let me turn you around. Um, they had an offer on it. If you spend $70, you got 15 off or something. And if you joined their mailing list, 
I joined it last year in Las Vegas as well. They give you a present for your birthday, even if it's not your birthday currently or anytime soon, so that's nice. Let me get the other stuff out I've got, and um, I might try and find the tripod actually so I can um, show you rather than hold the camera. Just a sec. You're a little bit low, but you'll do for today. News flash, that's a vase, not the tripod. Yes, I know, but you know. <laughs> Um, so I got an Urban Decay All Nighter um, setting spray, which I love. That's one of my favourites. Uh, I've got one with me, which um, I have got about a third left, but I really like it. It's a great one, especially for on hot holidays. I got this basically because it's a primer. There's Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer infused with peach, sweet peach. No peach and a sweet fig cream and it smells lovely i have had a little go that's what it looks like there never tried too much too face stuff but that's what it looks like and it does feel quite cooling i'm not sure what the benefit of that is but it smells lovely as well very nice so i'm pleased with that I haven't got all the prices and I don't think I've got the receipt anymore, but I spent a total of $137. That includes everything. I got this, which is a Tarte set. This was only 15 What? Well, what? Tarte, that's the brand. I Tarte with an E. Like... It's a set for Tarte. No, <laughs> no, no. Um, this was at $15 and it was at £41, retail, $41 retail value. And it has got the... Lights, Camera, Lashes, Mascara, which I've never tried, but I'm interested to try. Although I doubt if it will, 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 doubt if it will be better than my... Oh my God, how cool is that? Look at that glittery packaging. Look. That's quite... Oh. I'm liking the packaging. I don't know if I like the mascara. I mean, Essence Lash Princess is my favourite, but... That is very, very cool packaging. I do like that. Um, and then got a little blusher, I think. Oh yes, that's pretty. Really pretty little um, embossed design on it. And that is, oh my God, I'm, I realise that I'm peering. It's CH31 Party with three A's. Feels really nice. It looks a nice colour. You've got terrible light here but that is a nice, it's a very nice gentle peachy colour and then we've got a, um, I'm guessing that's a lip gloss, I'm sure it must be a lip gloss, that's nice but very sparkly, very sparkly, again a sort of dark peachy colour but with a lot of gold sparkle in it, so that's nice, let's try find those, then we've got this which is the brand fresh um who do lots of nice lip things it's got three different lip things in there i just bought it because fresh is really expensive at home and this wasn't that expensive it's called the little dreamers set and it's got a sugar dream lip treatment advanced therapy a sugar rose rose tinted lip treatment and a sugar lip treatment with a sunscreen of spf 15 now i'll show you all that when i um open it um this is an hourglass i thought i was buying a um pressed powder powder this is hourglass fail translucent setting powder i thought it was pressed it's not it's um disappointingly a loose powder however i will give a uh, give it a go god i can't even speak i will give it a go i have got a set a pressed version of this which i love which i got in an advent calendar last year and i always use when i go away but this one is loose so i'm not sure i'm not a big fan of loose powders on my skin anymore i think i'm too old for them i'll give it a go and see what i think and if i don't like it i'll sell it on ebay um this was my free gift <laughs> what are you bored yet watch that one eBay. this was my free gift that i got for it being my birthday that's the thing they do when you sign up to their mailing list um i got dr it's drunken drunken wife it's <laughs> <laughs> 
in time. Oh, oh. Broken camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's Disasterville. It's Drunk Elephant. It's the brand. This is the, which is quite interesting because I like, I was interested to try Drunk Elephant. It's been talked about a lot this year. Um, this is a jelly cleanser. It's a quite a nice size actually. It's pretty good size for a sample. And then I've also got a moisturizer, which I can't get out of the packet. Why can't I get it out of the packet? It is the proteiny. Are they trolling me? Serious. It's the proteiny polypeptide cream. Looks nice. And finally, I bought this, which is a Sephora eye palette because I needed some more eyeshadow. Oh, wait. No, I didn't, did I? And this is the Sephora Flash Sequins eye palette and it was just so, there were so many lovely eye palettes I just really liked the colours in this one so I got that one so that was all the lovely things I got from Sephora Ashley is very pleased with his degree of smartness he's just told me as am I I've just filmed my outfit for the outfits of the evening which I'm going to do as a separate video and I have to be honest I'm not taking you out with me tonight We've had a really lovely day. We're going to, all our plan is, is to maybe go for a walk along the deck with the shops. I will do much more of a ship tour and stuff when we're sort of au fait with where everything is. So we thought we'd go for a little wander down to where the shops are, have a look at those, and then we're just gonna go for dinner. And um, probably an early night, because I had a terrible night's sleep last night. And well, because I kept you awake, yeah. <laughs> Tossing and turning. Oh, there we are. There's a yawn just to prove how bad my night of sleep was. But yeah, I'm not going to take the camera out tonight. I've put my phone on flight mode. We are ready for our seven day voyage with no internet, no nothing. In fact, I've actually started notes for a video about what it's like living with no internet for seven days because literally within 20 minutes of turning off my phone i came across something i wanted to google i was just flicking through a magazine and there was something that anyway i thought it might make an interesting video what and this is ashley's phone on flight mode nothing yes you literally are on flight mode can you hear the ship's horn that's me excuse me it's the ship's horn are we going past something I need to have a quick look Oh, I don't think so. Can't see anything. Anyway, unless that's the pilot boat just going. Could Might be. be. Yeah. Anyway, right, that's it from me for today. So I don't know if I'm going to carry on doing dailies or if I'm going to make it a little bit different. But anyway, that is it for day Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day four of our holiday. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.